Hi folks, Max from HighlandAndroid.com, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Today we'll be talking about the differences between the Exynos Octa-Core and the Qualcomm Quad-Core processors used on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Before we begin, I highly suggest you to get a big cup of coffee like me and get high on Android as we'll be getting serious and nitty gritty into CPUs. Many US, Canadian, European countries with 4G LTE will ship with a Qualcomm processor while the non-4G LTE ships with the GTI 9500 Octa-Core Exynos processor. Of course, the Koreans get the best with the Octa-Core and 4G LTE. I believe this is due to the fact that the 4G LTE frequencies used in Korea are easy to develop, therefore used with the octa-core and also there may be production issues with the newer exynos processors now the good news is that i do expect the note 3 to come out with the latest exynos octa-core even in the u.s just like we've seen with the galaxy note 2 uh, which only ships with exynos processors worldwide uh, with lte support again this is due to the timing of phone shipped and unfortunately the Galaxy S4 ships right when production of Exynos Octa-Core for all countries may be impossible. And that's just my theory. But let's take a closer look at the Octa-Core and the Qualcomm processors using the Galaxy S4. First, the Exynos Octa-Core processor is made up of four high performance cores and four low performance cores. The idea here is that the Octa-Core is able to switch quickly between the four high performance cores and the four low performance cores at the hardware level, uh, saving you the maximum battery life while the Qualcomm does also throttle down but at software level, uh, meaning more power is wasted. Now both the 1.6 GHz high performance four cores on the Exynos uh, octa-core processor and the Qualcomm 1.9 GHz quad-core processor uh, does fairly the same as far as raw CPU uh, processing power goes. The biggest difference between the two processor is the GPU or graphics processor used. First of all, the Exynos octa-core uses Power VR SGX 544MP3, which is a newer version of GPU used on the iPhone 5, uh, but with a higher 533 megahertz versus iPhone 5's 350 megahertz. And yes, the PowerVR SGX on the Galaxy S4 is about 50% faster than iPhone 5. And it's a good time to switch from iPhone 5 to Galaxy S4. Now the Qualcomm uses the Adreno 320 GPU. I did a Quadrant benchmarking test between the two processor and the result was nearly identical. Uh, with and Tutu, however, it clearly showed that the Exynos octa-core was faster by a whopping 25%. You can see a link to the test in the description below. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. I've decided to dig deeper and test out graphics in more detail using 3D Mark and Velamo benchmarking apps. With 3D Mark, both octa-core and Qualcomm performed near even with Qualcomm edging out the octa-core. With Velamo, the octa-core did about 20% better. So what? The bottom line is that these two processor, whether you get the Qualcomm or octa-core, uh, it really doesn't matter. For the average consumer, you're not gonna notice a, any difference. However, if you're a hardcore gamer, uh, octa-core may give you that extra oomph, uh, extra boost that you need. And that's it. Thanks for watching my video. Um, that was a real world analysis of the Galaxy S4, Octa-Core and Qualcomm. And I've actually tested both. They're about the same. Um, Octa-Core may be slightly faster with the graphics. And uh, if you like this video, as always, don't forget to hit the like button for me down here, subscribe button down there. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Stay high on Android. And share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+.